Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 19. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, here we go. We are back with another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Uh, we're going to be starting out with the Corvette Touring Cup for this stream. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Starting off with New York Circuit, Laguna Seca, Sebring, and then finishing off with Road Atlanta. And a cool thing about this, we're taking the Lingenfelter, which actually I've upgraded to be U999, which is basically the maximum performance we can get. So, let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's get going. This thing is going to be a beast. And we're off. Woo! Bloody hell, this thing's loud. <clears throat> Flippin' egg. Yeah, this thing's monstrous. But the good thing about this now, uh, we've actually got the upgraded tires on it, so this thing is pretty speedy around the corners. <clears throat> and you're running away, 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 boy, you keep running and you're running and you're running and you're running away. Okay, maybe we should have done some upgrades on the uh, brakes. Because this thing is still really crap at slowing down. Look at the smoke coming out of this thing. Bad. Keep it going, keep it going. Until I die. I love this song. It's by Swedish House Mafia. God, there's a dog going crazy outside. Not bad. Now, I'm not going to be the first to say this, but I really, really don't like the look of the rear lights on this thing. Like, when they're not in use, they're okay, they're fine. But when you put the brake lights on, they look really cheap and tatty. <laughs> Follow me. Take my hand. Do you know what I'm really excited for? Great. Power off. Please recharge headset. Cheers for that one, Sony. I now have no audio. No music. No nothing. I can get myself some uh, emergency audio, as I like to call it. Or we let the headphones charge for an hour. Oh, that's so annoying. Take my hand, follow me. Oh, bonk. Jesus Christ, that dog outside my window is going ballistic. Absolutely fucking nuts. And to be honest, we have no clue why either. Mm 
<laughs> I've got no audio. I've got no music. Luckily, now that we're recording on, like, um, OBS and stuff, um, I can check our audio levels before we're, like, to make sure that everything's working. Before, if I was using the capture card and the audio cut out, it meant something horribly wrong happened and I'd have to re-record whatever I did. <laughs> Under the white skies. Take my hands, follow me. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm like sliding this car absolutely around every single corner. And that's why there's so much smoke coming out of my car. And then I realize I've got engine damage. <laughs> yeah, it's not an ideal situation to be in, that's for sure. Engine damage equals no Pogarino. Did they also get rid of um, the extended version of this course? I'm going to have to double check that. I hope they didn't for this game. Because New York Extended was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that more than the short track. Not bad though. We're looking at... 552. 11 grand. Woohoo! All right, so we're here around Laguna Seca now. Starting for race number two of this championship. Uh, we've got the Bluetooth speaker running. I mean, I always have my Bluetooth speaker connected 24-7 anyways. Just because it's actually pretty good for my setup. But uh, whenever I'm streaming or recording, normally I disable the speaker in voice meter. So that the speaker's still connected, but it can be used whenever. Um, and it's also quite useful as well, because it's like a physical, like, pause button for my music and stuff like that. Um, so I just had to swap over voice meter, pretty much. And, um, yeah. We're back on track. Hopefully. Anyways. bum 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 I love a good bit of, um, this isn't DJ Fresh. DJ Snake? What's his name? Oh, I've actually forgotten his name. Major Laser, that's it. How do I get Major Laser and DJ Snake mixed up? That didn't go too well down that hill, by the way. I want to see... See, I prefer the headlights of the car in front. They're actually round. Two by two for the sequel. Three by three for my people. Welcome back to chat, Aaron. Legend. That actually really helped because that slowed me down without needing the brakes. One by one, let me see ya. Two by two for the sequel. That car in front is the same as what we're driving, but we've got more power and race tires on, and we're struggling. To be honest, I was never really a fan. This car has left a sour taste in my mouth ever since that last. Ever since Motorsport 1. Both events that we used this car in weren't great. Right, let's not spin this bastard out. Not bad. A little bit of sparks flying, actually, I saw.
Never gonna turn me inside out, inside out. I love a good bit of graphics. Such a talented bloke. Make some banging tunes. So does Fred V as well. So when it was Fred V and graphics, like the duo group that they did, that was like the peak of drum and bass. Like every song they made would slap. Just two incredibly talented geniuses working together. I think that's also part of the reason why like on both Horizon 3 and Horizon... F I mean, m more dominantly on Horizon 4, but Horizon 3 and 2, some of the best songs were by Fred V and Graphics. And Horizon 4, like, that entire introduction was all just one Fred V and Graphics song. Phenomenal. <laughs> Not bad. I still feel like this entire series is sort of like a mini homage to where I started on YouTube. Because when I started YouTube, that first ever series I did was Horizon 4. Um, it's delisted at the moment, but it's going to get put up as like an archive series. Um, and that will be as a, if anyone wants to watch my original Horizon 4 walkthrough. Then you can. It will be on there for. Um, uh, I think it's silver tier. Either silver or gold. One of them that says about um, being able to see old unlisted videos somewhere there. Feel your love. Turn me inside out. Inside out. Never gonna feel your love. What's up, Alex? No, I will not suck your nuts, and I will not call you Jennifer. <laughs> My name's Jennifer. I got a penis. The most random comment I've said in, like, the past two months, probably. No! Holy fuck. Let's get back on track. Ah! I knew this bitch named Becky. She liked to talk real sexy. Hey! Come on, there we go. <laughs> Yo, Kate, what up? And there we go. That is a win in my books. I've got a hair on my nose. I can feel it and see it. Ugh. Get away. There we go, 7 minutes 32. Not bad, I'll take my money, thanks. All right, here we go, attempt number two. I've got 1.8 terabytes of free space left on my hard drive. I'm, I'm just not gonna delete anything of this series yet until I need to. I'm just gonna fill it to the max. One thing I want to do, though, I want to see if there's a way to convert my external hard drive that I've got into an inter uh, interrible internal hard drive. Like, even if it's just like, oh, I just stick it in there with some double-sided tape and then um, 
get like a USB header thing to like stick on a USB header and do it that way, then I don't mind. Just want to be able to use it, you know? Feel my veins. Bing, bing. Oh, this is a different song. Quite bumpy, this track, actually. I think it's really good that the um, bumps are actually properly simulated in this game as well. It's not that they're simulated. I think it's more the fact that there's just more detail in the track. Like, look at that. Normally we go that way, but uh, we're not this time. We're going this way. Not too bad. Why, when I change to six, does it just drop immediately down to like four thousand RPM? Like, this thing would be so much quicker if it wasn't so ridiculous and aggressive with its, like, gear ratios there. Like, to be fair, we're nearing... That's pretty much 180 miles an hour there. The thing is, that corner is extremely safe because it's all tarmac. So if there's a problem, like, if you overshoot the break-in... It's much safer that way. But what it isn't safer for is if your brakes go, you're just going to keep barreling into that tire wall. There's nothing to actually slow your car down at that point. I do like Sebring though, it's quite a nice sized uh, track. Oh no, it looks like the tail light's broken. Woohoo! I can't wait to do some races around this track, but like on the full circuit in this game. That I'm pretty excited for. Meow, 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 meow. This has gone horribly wrong. I really do hate this car with a passion, if you couldn't tell already. I mean, when you think about it, every single race that we've done so far, we've had to restart at one point or another because of the fact that we've cocked up. And every time we do the second race, we're fine. But it's only on the second race. Not the actual first race. Maybe the next race might be a nice change of pace, I guess. I want to love you. Never be lonely when I'm by your side. Oh, I need to get some Delta Heavy on. Good band. Uh oh. That was uh, what I call fucking charming. <laughs> oh, I forgot this song existed.
Got an old school Corvette there. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not good though. Not bad. Not bad. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Corvette. I had nowhere to go. I love how the AI is actually overtaking other AI. That's brilliant. Even is that? It's like an old 2001 call that? Come on, let's get that pass right at the finish line. Woohoo! Not bad. Thirteen grand for that one. Uh, ooh. Reputation level one. Twenty percent discount on clutch upgrades by Tilton. Charming. All right, here we go. Road Atlanta. 2.0. I don't know. Technically, it's 2.0 because they modified the track slightly, so. Say I'm sorry. Fucking Delta Heavy White Flag VIP Remix. Best song I've heard in a while. I wonder when we'll actually go around the full track of this. Because this is what I call the acorn track. I don't know why, it just helps with my visualisation because it looks a little bit like an acorn. And then the other track is the leg of ham. Not bad at all. I really am hoping the speaker's not being picked up too much in the microphone. I'm obviously expecting a little bit to get picked up, but I think that little bit of audio that's going to get picked up by the microphone will get drowned out by the car sounds of the actual game anyways. So, I think we should be fine. Unless uh, text-to-speech Brian decides to kick in. <laughs> God, those fucking dogs are going back at it again. You sure they're not, like, fucking either murdering each other or humping each other aggressively? Like, I genuinely have no clue at this point, but they're doing one or the other. Ah, they're doing one or the... Never mind, it was a really shit joke. Oh, and the cool thing is, so after this one, every Forza game afterwards will have an episode zero in their series. Which is basically just me doing the introduction. They're all going to get demonetized. So... I'm not expecting anything special. Um, because they're all going to be their first races, which is going to have... Yeah, an episode zero. So, before we actually start the series... Um, basically, Forza Motorsport... All of the Motorsport games, they basically chuck you into the driving seat of a car... As the introduction. To get you into the swing of things, they do like an introduction tutorial. I think Motorsport 3 and 4 actually has an intro video... 
Um, so what those episode zeros are going to be, and I may even edit up a episode zero for Motorsport 2 um, and upload that into the franchise. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I know Motorsport 3 has a intro, like a long intro. This one's not too long. And uh, you also drive a car in the intro, and then it talks about the stuff. So I thought, rather than just scrapping that entirely, I'll make that episode zero. And then start episode one the same as how we've done the rest of the series. I think it'll work. I hope it'll work. With a white flag. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that time difference is not representative of what it should be. Because we crashed. And I've got about three minutes to get that time back. Hopefully, though, we're not going to do too bad through the S section. Say you need me. Okay, I've cocked this up big time. Car ahead, 2.9. Oh, we fucked it. It was actually pretty cool how um, what I'm listening to went from... Oh, yes. Traffic car. Hold them up. It went from the VIP mix to the standard mix and it actually blends in really well. Come on, we might actually pull this off. Ah! Why are you swerving like that? Fuck me. Who's gunning for me? chance to say I'm sorry cuz I'm gonna end this episode with the smashed car and I've crashed in every single goddamn race and I'm an embarrassment haha <laughs> not bad what are we looking at what are we looking at chief chief seven minutes 12 grand Woohoo! Not bad. Or I don't think it was too bad. Uh, we got a race car and we got 22 grand. Money. Ooh. Okay, do you want to know? I don't normally like dark green, but that... Chef's kiss. Looks really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.